Hey yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to some more of that Peaky Fucking Blinders episode 6. <laughs> Last episode, um first of all, it felt like a, a season finale, just given how everything was like playing out. You know, we had the whole situation with Arthur and his pops. Um, we had the whole situation with you know Campbell and Grace, which listen, I saw the signs, but I didn't want to read into it because I was like, nah, maybe I'm just reading into it. But man, he confirmed all my suspicions in that last episode. Where he he couldn't wait for Grace to freaking, you know, resign. You know, but it's just like everything that he was saying, it was just like it was just like signs. It was like, but like I said, I kept trying to like deny what he the way he was saying everything and cuz it was just I don't know, man, but like I said, he confirmed it. He he popped the question to Grace and I I missed the little line when he said um uh, cause I, I know I was talking over it. I know, listen, I'm going to miss some things. It's going to be all right. At the end of the day, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. But, uh, <laughs> listen, he said, like, I don't need you to love me back. I just need to know that we are of the same mind. Like, so you telling me that like, you caught feelings for the girl, which is already weird given, you know, who her father was or whatever. But regardless, you caught feelings for her. You don't want you don't want her to reciprocate those feelings, like. Then why are you? Why, brother? Why? But anyways, he got what he was looking for. He got the guns, but he told, or I guess he left the message for brother Churchill saying, "Listen, I'm about to be getting up out of here, but I got a little bit of unfinished business. So I'm curious to see what it is that he's about to do. Like I said, is he gonna go after Tommy?" Or is he gonna go after Grace? I don't know because there's a lot of different ways that he can go about this. He can go after both of them at the same time. He could either like he could spill the beans on Grace's true identity about the the fact that you know she was working for him and she was only she was a a, a mole and to pretty much <laughs> get back at Grace for denying him and to get back at Tommy for taking his woman. You know, like just. just a lot of stuff happened, man. So I'm looking forward to just see how this is about to play out. So let's just go and hop on into it. Oh, whoa. We're not starting off with the... Bro, I thought, so. I thought they were about to sneak up on him. He running. He running. He running. It's Campbell. Who is he looking for? Service? Nah, you don't get no service. What you want? You don't open two more hours. You come back later. Facts. Police. No, no you asked for service. You didn't say uh, police business. I'm given to understand by several of my officers. <clears throat> several of my officers that people come here. What? What are you talking about? What you getting at? Come here for a certain purpose. Oh, oh, he need a lady for the night. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Not the lady of the night. <laughs> What's going on? We're doing it today. Oh yeah, it's star day. I'm assuming. Get dressed. We're doing it today. As much of what he's doing me today. <laughs> Learn to knock. It's not a day for knocking. Let none get hurt and make them that do not shall be seen. Chief <laughs> praying for protection and praying on the downfall of everybody but the Shelbys. <laughs> He's as likely to hurt himself as anyone else. Facts. Give him double dose of prayer. Thomas, I know how he is. Okay. Give him all double dose. For us. Okay, okay. Respect I to the boy. <laughs> she said, I think. <laughs> After today, there'll be no need for prayers. We'll be set. All right, all right, we'll see. Family meeting, half 10. Oh, we actually having a family meeting. When's the last time they had a family meeting? Was it the <laughs> the John situation? I didn't sleep last night. He plotting something. He ain't there for no Mr. John said that you're favors. A special, special customer. He's there for some other kind of favor. He's probably trying to pry some information out of her or something. But then again, his heart broken. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the look on his face, he actually might... This. this actually might be for real. He might actually need a little bit of a sensual holding. So tight. 
Is she waking up with we regrets? We can also clean and press your shirt while we do this. Oh, damn. I'm gonna clean up the, the suit and shit? Why are he getting down to business? Wow. I thought there was another play to it, honestly. I thought he was using this place for information or something. Wait, is she really going back to the museum? Was she expecting to meet him there? But I would assume this isn't happening at the same time. Uh-oh. She was going there to meet Campbell, but Campbell sent the sergeant there instead. Oh. Oh. Uppercut his ass. I know exactly what you did. And with whom? Yeah, because she's outside the window. I will not mention any of it in my report. I know you gave yourself to the man who is our sworn enemy. How? He bro, it's not only treason, <laughs> it is disgusting. Oh, God, he hurting her. Oh, Your shit. Your father would be ashamed of you. <sighs> Bitch, do not dare bring her father into this. After you literally went out after his daughter. And for what? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. This dude. Yes. This dude's trash. Campbell, go home. Like, bro, you could have left. You got what you wanted. All you have to do is leave. But you know, I he's like, no, I, I gotta I gotta tell her how I really feel one last time before I go. Like, what? And you weren't even man enough to do it in her face. You have to write a letter. Oh. He consoling her, ain't yep. Yep, tell brother that brother Campbell was in here beating up on the women. For the suits. You want to hear something funny? Yeah, I got a joke for you. Campbell's in my back room right now. Ah, oh, shit. I am unarmed. <laughs> He's smiling! <laughs> Julius Inspector, I thought you came here to clean up the city. But you got a little dirty this morning, huh? I have a meeting with Mr. Winston Churchill at midday. Mm -hmm. And no doubt he intends to congratulate me on finding those stolen guns. Yeah, all but one. And you still don't know how we found them, do you? He is about to do it. Oh my gosh. Good. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got lucky. Oh. Oh no. One thing I have learned is that you and I are opposites, but also just the same. Because we both like the same girl. <laughs> but the day is over. Your heart will be broken. Okay. Just the same as mine. Okay. He's Grace is about to come up. Not maybe not in this Maybe conversation. Goes, Mr. Shelby. I'll always be alone. Wait. You forget, Inspector. I have my family. <laughs> That's all you about to have, my boy. You ain't about to have Grace. Enjoy your day. Oh, man. Well, you never knew my children, did you? I was a child myself then. Mm, so she did end up having kids. You never talk about them. Hmm. No reason to. Heart breaks even when I think about them. Oh, or maybe they were young. Oh, oh no. But today, I do have reason to. Sally was three. Michael was five. Well, it's two weeks away from being six. Oh my gosh! Please, I don't want to hear this story. On Sunday morning, uh, I was at church, and a woman from around here told the police about the sheets. Jealous, you see, with the new sheets. And when the police came, they found a spirit still mm. making a few drops of gin. And for that. Wait, did, wait, 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 what? They will never take your baby away from you. Do you know why? So her kids are out there somewhere. I see what she's doing. She's trying to keep the camp family close. forgive him. How can I? Yeah. And my Freddy's rotting in jail because of him. It's not because of Tommy. There's something about today you need to know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Wait, are they about to break Tommy out? I mean, uh, Freddy out? Is that what's about to happen? If I get to Brixton, it'll kill me. Freddy. Nah, you ain't going there. As far as Brixton prison. Nah, they here to break you out. Okay, okay. You're happy. Good for you. Bro, you got those stained ass feet on the table. That would be too much, sir. Nonsense. As I recall, you wrote to me several times about an undercover operative, a woman. Oh, boy. Was she involved in the discovery? Does she deserve some kind of commendation? Oh, is he going to say yes? Yes. 
I knew it! She was instrumental. Oh, boy. A truly loyal servant to the crown. This is the day we replace Billy Kimber. This is the day we become respectable. Okay. The day we join the official National Association of right. Race Course Bookmakers. He said we about to be legit, so we got to get Billy out of here. We do the dirty work. <laughs> got to get our hands dirty one more time. The efforts of our John and his lovely new wife, Esme. Right. Please, and now our kin. I interrupted those efforts this morning, and uh, I can assure you all, <laughs> John is making great sacrifices in the cause of Right. Peace. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and the Lees against Kimber's boys. Oh, does anyone object if I bring a newcomer to the meeting? It's going to be Ada. It's going to be Sister Ada. I'd like to introduce the newest member oh. of the Shelby clan. I don't even know the, the kid's name, but hey, welcome on in. Hey. Young Shelby. Named him Carl. Carl. After Carl, Carl Marx. Carl Marx. Oh, bloody Marx. <laughs> they get a look at him. Am I forgiven? If what Aunt Polly says is true. Okay. They definitely trying to get Freddy out. Okay. It's true. Like, damn, sis, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to hurt you like that. Everything I've been doing was trying to protect you. He happy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Okay, okay. Freddy's out. Now the boys is pulling up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, they better have soaking wet socks, but I see y'all. Hey, they mean business. Look at them boys. Bro, I need to get me one of those freaking like little, little Kango hats, you feel me? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What the bloody hell is that? Looks like your friends are here. Oh. Oh, that's uh, Danny. Okay, okay. I am sorry about this, comrade. Ah, damn, I had to take one on the chin. Danny, you're dead. Nah, I've been living in London. <laughs> you're like, I've been living good. Well, I guess you just don't like living there. <laughs> Next family meeting. I'll make sure you're there. Whoa, whoa, that's moving kind of fast. But I'm not. I could change. Oh, whoa, he moving fast as hell. We'll talk about it more when I get back to us. Oh, my God. Well, how is this house going to be, eh? You wait to get home for me. So oh, no, Tommy. You call this? oh, no, Tommy. Oh, no, Tommy. Oh, Man, no. Oh, no, Tommy. You, 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 <laughs> you fell hard, my boy. Tell me the truth. When you come back from the races, I won't be. Mm. What are you talking about? Is she gonna tell him the truth? Of oh, who she is? I said, oh, you weren't born to be with a man like me. No, she was born to spy oh, on a man like wow. you. I'm sorry, Tommy. She about to break your heart. Just like Campbell said. With a real limited company. You remember? I remember everything. Tommy. Mm. I am gonna make a success of this. Tommy, I have done something terrible to you. Oh, she's actually about to say it. Oh! Arthur! Tell him what you just told me. Oh, shit. Just heard there's two vans driving up the Stratford Road. An old corporal of mine said he recognized some of the men. He said oh. it's the Kimber boys. And they're heading this way. Wait, what? Wait, Grace. Grace, because she knew what Star Day was. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who oh, no. Today was the day you were moving on, Kimber. Grace! I mean, you said you kept it a secret. Who else did you tell? Grace! Piece it together, Tommy. Oh, shit. Does anyone think I'm blind a man as smart as you, Tom? Oh, shit. And Paul figured it out. Is that barmaid? Oh. I'll do with Grace. Oh, no. If oh, no. If you set eyes on her again, you might kill her. I heard there was trouble. Instincts are funny thing. But check her, Paul. Hell, hold on. Listen. See, normally, I can tell about a person, but with you. Look, the fighting's about to begin. We should get out of here. We know who you are. Tommy knows as well. Turned out that cop <coughs> just told the pen that came out. I wanted to hear it from your own lips. I am an agent of the crown. You were an agent of the crown. And the right to use force. Like I say, instinct's a funny thing. You fell for Tommy for real, didn't you? Mm hmm. Rich girl, I guess. Press you her. Press her. Just a volunteer. You thought Fenians, communists, lay people, they're all the same. Scum. Mm. Then you met Tommy. Right. <laughs> Changed her whole mind. Oh, I she said. Take my fists and show you how a rich girl fights. Oh. Family too. Oh. 
Oh, she said I'm ready to throw hands. Who would expect to drink? Oh, we're going to talk. <laughs> no blood will be shed, but some drink will be spilt. <laughs> Did you fall for Tommy? Mm hmm. That's why I own it now. <laughs> yes. Okay, the okay. Is you. Damn, okay, okay. You pitted you twice. To kill me. It's too soft. You saved his life the night the coppers came. Right. That's why we're drinking, not fighting. Facts. We owe you. Because, again, she pulled out, she pulled that trigger when she wasn't supposed to. You know, after all this is over, he might forgive you. No, he might take <sighs> you. Could never tell with me. I honestly, I don't know. But I should tell you something. Grace was the first woman he actually tried to give his heart to since he'd been you. back. Or accept you if you're not gone from this city by tomorrow. I'll kill you myself. And I believe him. Now go. I say I like Grace, even though I know that she's been <laughs> playing Tommy this whole time, but her feelings were genuine. But it's like, also, I, I get you, Paul. Protect the family. You feel me? Maybe what really upsets you is the thought that one day you might lose him. I mean, why would that not upset her? I mean, that is her nephew. <laughs> the police who told Kimber about the plan. And who told oh, the police? Oh, wow. You know what, John? For all I think I'm the smartest one, I'm guessing it was me. Facts. <laughs> You've been telling the police a lot. Well, not just you. Arthur's been telling them a lot. All because Grace. I will have no help from the Lord today. Right. That pub there is called the Garrison. It's the Garrison no for a reason. reason. And it belongs to us. Yes, sir. Right. Hold on. on. Jeremiah said two Riley vans. So I reckon we're outnumbered three to one. Ah, fuck. But it's okay, us. Okay. Boys, it's us. The small eat rifles. We've had a report of a large group of men in vehicles heading towards the city. We think a gang fight's about to break out. Oh, well, Campbell and knows this. All officers and constables stood down in the following areas. Small Heath, Chardin, Greet. And of course, Hamel Sergeant don't agree with it. Immediately. That dog eat dog. This dude, Let the beasts man. devour each other. You want to destroy this city before and he leaves. And then we shall pick the bones. You're not accustomed to not getting what you want, are you, Tommy? Well, this is different, bro. He's legit got betrayed. You pub, and you took it. Oh, okay. He feeling some kind of way. Is that why he decided to give him up in the end? He's like, listen, I'm not about to keep freaking. I'm not about to put my life on the line for you when you took my bar from me. <laughs> Everybody around here, they, they want you to win this battle. You're bad men, but you're our bad men. you like, bitch, you telling me something I already knew. For her. She's in the past. Is she? The past is not my concern. Bro. First of all, you still haunted by your past. The future is no longer my concern either. Oh, damn. He said, I'm only living in the present. <laughs> I'm taking things day by day. Anything we thought is nothing. Everything else. Nothing. Yo, this dude is broken. Like, because you know all of that stuff he said in the bed. You know, I found you. Like, all of that stuff. Like, he thought he truly found... Like, the whole, I don't hear the knocking anymore. Like, he definitely fell in love with her. All right. About to go down. Oh, they pulling up like that? Hold on, hold on. I guess we about to... Uh, okay, okay. I was about to say... Yo, it's about to go down like this. <laughs> Hold on. Your weapons out, boys, and load them up. Load them up. <laughs> Bro, this is intense. So what do we do now? Just give the order. Hold on, we all point blank, bro. I, I need some coverage or something. The men that have arrived in Garrison Lane are armed with rifles. Uh. Sergeant, he don't care. Did you hear me? He don't care. Their methods of self-destruction are not my concern. Then why are you still here? When you came here from Belfast, I was overjoyed. Yeah, and he I felt... I was sick of this force, and I was sick of all the corruption. And then he became when corrupt you himself. When speech about cleaning this place up, I gave a little cheer inside. I believed every word he said. You said it was a devil's work to look through the way. 
I am not looking the other way, Sergeant. Oh, he's looking right at it. <laughs> I am looking directly at the events of the day, and I like what I see. Bro. We have to use guns. Let's use proper guns. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah! I got a bullet for everybody, baby! Sergeant Thorne. Ready! Listen! Listen! I was, I was mad you didn't leave, but I'm glad you're here, baby. <laughs> Billy, you still got your hands in your damn pocket. You, I know you shitting yourself. I know you is. What are you doing? I believe you boys call this no man's land. Oh, oh no. Shut up and listen. Oh no. You lost your mind. I said shut up. Now, most of you are in France, so you all know what happens next. Yeah, bloodbath. I've got brothers and a husband here, but you've all got somebody waiting for you. Now, mm. I'm wearing black in preparation. And fight if you want to. But that baby ain't moving anywhere. Ooh, and you know Tommy ain't pulling that trigger. Pa Tommy ain't, I mean, not Tommy. Freddy ain't pulling that trigger. And I know damn it's well, Tom. Why should all you men die? It should just be them who's caused it. Oh! Oh! oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah 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 you deserve that one bitch now who's next kimber and me for this battle one-on-one -on -one. it's over done wow to your families I was not expecting that. I want to ask you one question. Why didn't you leave? Then I'll leave. <laughs> Tommy knows who I am. What did you say to him? That what I'm jealous you that you took to her from me. I told him that his heart would be broken before the day was over. And that it was. So it seems you've broken two hearts, Grace. Bitch, you... Got, you didn't want her to love you back, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. 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 Oh. Hey, did I need to see this? Did I need to see this? Did I need to see this? Okay, you got it. You got it. Okay, I'm glad you still got the knack. Give me my drink. I need it. Thank you. I need that. I need that. Deep breath. Okay, okay. It's sterilized. We good. This shit happened. So, this, this shit happened so fast. It was like, it was so hard for me to like process anything. In the grave, we dug for him. It's hard on a hill. In like that. To Danny was bang. Yep. Danny. Danny was bang. Pull one out for the homie. I don't got him to pull out. Oh boy. Well, the day is ours. Let's celebrate. Is it? Is Campbell done? Like, is he done? Is he gonna leave now? Like, shit. Like, you done done damage. You done done enough damage. Leave. You got the guns. Leave. Who won? Um, the peaky fucking blinders. William Kimber has been found dead. So, uh, I'm guessing that means a peaky blinders won. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Take another L, my boy. You didn't get all the guns back. You lost Grace. You lost Freddy. And brother Tommy lived. All men, so there were no officers on the street at the time, uh, following your orders. The uh, prison officers said they recognized the men. They were peaky blinders as well. So. <laughs> Take another L, my boy. Yeah, now go Something run away. Hey, sir. Like, you thought you was going to come here and clean up house? No, you made it worse, honestly. Bro, I, that sergeant be getting on my nerves, but I love when he be talking that talk to Campbell, man. Because Campbell be needing to get talked to like that a little bit. That dude done lost his damn mind. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sir, Churchill. Sir, Mr. Churchill, please. I think I need to stay longer. I got beat again. Yes, I can't leave without a W. Sir, I have made a decision about my future. He gonna stay. Like, bro, just leave. Just leave. I can tell you who I really am. I think I know who you are. Mm. You know who I am. Circumstance is not important. <laughs> Circumstance. 
Pathologist. Someday we'll throw this gun in the canal. Why not now? He can't do it. <laughs> Here it comes, Tommy. Here what comes? I love you. Oh shit. Oh. There it goes. Christ. And there it goes. As in he ain't gonna say it. Go. Say it as much as we like. But it mean it don't mean shit. But there's no chance. Damn. That boy is a cold motherfucker, but I can't blame him. I can't blame him. She de she broke his heart. <laughs> I'll be in London one week. This address. Finish your business here and join me. Not whiskey. What do you want to drink then? You check behind the bar. <clears throat> oh, that bottle of wine. Champagne. Or champagne that Grace had. And he didn't want to open it at that one time. And that, oh, wow. One she bought. Today was a good day. That boy is hurt. Shelby Brothers Limited are now the third largest legal racetrack operation in the country. I mean, it seems like a good day. Everything went well for the boys. But I need him to speak speak his truth right now. Paul is waiting for him to say something. Shelby Brothers Limited. She know he's broken. He is he is a broken man right now. With all there is to celebrate, you want to cry. <laughs> There'll be others. Yep, there it is. Like I said, all that happiness and shit. The dude, what he crying inside? Dear Grace. Uh oh, he wrote a letter. I'm secretary, I write my own letters, and I write without malice. Okay. I learned long ago to hate my enemies, mm. but I've never loved one before. Oh wow. Before the war, when I had an important decision to make, I used to flip a coin. Oh, he about to flip a coin? That's what I will do again. Polly tells me you fell in love for real. And Polly is never wrong about matters of the art. Facts. So she was waiting I for Tommy. my decision within three days. Mmm. Ah! No, 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 no. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Woo, woo, woo. He, he did it, didn't he? No. I'm, I, yo, yo, yeah, this is torture. This is torture. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Ain't no way. There is no fucking way. Oh my gosh. I'm, 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 I'm speechless. There is no way that just happened. This dude. Campbell is unhinged. All because he kept taking L's left and right. L's. He had all the information. He had a whole inside, you know, agent. Still couldn't manage to take down the almighty Peaky Blinders. You know? Couldn't couldn't take down Tommy. Like, Tommy beat him at everything. Got Grace to fall in love with him. He couldn't handle that. So he's like, okay, well, I'm gonna get Tommy body. Tommy didn't get body freaking Billy Kimber trash ass guy body you know and and if he the same case with Freddie like when I said Freddie should have just left I'm glad he out now he pulled up for the boys but you know Ada was like hold on <laughs> I ain't moving this baby ain't moving so you already knew Freddie one he was useless at that point but <laughs> he was still I heard him in the, 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 when they was doing a little fade out and shit he was saying don't shoot don't shoot I heard him but regardless this dude Campbell just could not take this L gracefully and leave. <laughs> gracefully. <laughs> and leave. Like the sergeant kept telling him, it's like, oh, you when you got here, you saying all of this stuff. Yeah, I believed in you. I cheered a little bit. I like what you said. And you became just as corrupt as the Peaky Blinders. And then this whole situation that you didn't want no coppers on the street and all of this stuff, Freddie got out. You know, now he's a man on the run. You know, Peaky Blinders won against uh, Billy Kimber and his men. You took another L. Like, the sergeant was the only one telling him to his face, like, you keep fucking up. As simple as that. And I just I just can't get over this ending. This, it, like, bro, Tommy was broken, obviously. Like, cause, like I said, you could, like, I believe Grayson loved him, I do. And I definitely believe Tommy loved her. 
he even said in his letter like <laughs> you're like i've hated my enemies but i've never loved my enemies before you know like the fact that he wrote this letter and was preparing to send it to grace he was going to obviously send it to the address that she gave him and campbell just pulled bro now i am of the belief nobody no death like you ain't gonna i feel like great grace has been in every single episode of this first season i find it very hard to believe that they're gonna off screen her like that so again until i see com confirmation she ain't, campbell just pulled the gun up and shot the air or sh something else because they, they wouldn't have off screened her like that now if i turn out to be wrong that's fucked up why'd y'all off screen her like i at least needed the confirmation right then and there but regardless this first season was insane like i i knew the show was good based off people always never i never heard anything bad about this show but bro i am thoroughly just my expectations weren't high but even if they were it exceeded the expectations like this is a fire series i'm looking forward to the next season um man i hope y'all enjoyed this video man because uh a lot happened and i'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen in the next season so hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace